Good morning, Tornio. That looks perfectly adequate and secure. Time to give a burn a, a bit of a premiere. Breakfast porridge. Now this entire setup works pretty well. I can just fold up a bed and put most stuff on the table. That, that works out way better than I thought. I thought I was going to have some severe height issues, but not. Whew, all right, this is going so much faster than I thought. I thought I was going to be standing here forever like with normal stew, but this thing's got some power. That turned out okay. I've never made porridge and guess before, so I'm quite happy. And here's a little porridge tip for you. Three pieces of just normal milk chocolate. Gives you a little boost, sugary boost in the morning. Who needs tables? This is nice. Uh -uh. Alright, planning to leave Tornio. So, I pretty much just uh, dragged a random route, uh, relatively short, uh, west and uh, safe through Bergen. So, I'm hoping to cross through Sweden today. That might be, depending on the road, a bit too much to ask, so I might end up camping like somewhere in north-western Sweden but uh, hopefully we'll make the Norwegian border and uh, if we have a look at the map we do run into some kind of uh, mountainous territory even before we enter Norway so it could be pretty nice and good looking either way so onwards all right Sweden here we come properly Pussy farm! Crossing over! Entering Sweden! They have bigger street signs! And of course the first thing you see is an IKEA sign. Pussies! What's the matter pussy? Your chemical toilet not working? Gotta pee in the woods? One thing I just noticed, the moment I passed into Sweden, the forest turned from thick pine forest to thick birchwood forest. Oh, what a beautiful day we've got today. Solar panels have been longing for this. It's been raining for a week, stretching the spell, been able to keep up with the server. But even when I get up this morning, it's like 11. We were pushing 100 watts. Roads in Sweden seem to be, hey, moose warning. Proper Swedish moose warning. Roads in Sweden seem to be built up to an absolutely different standard than the Finnish ones. Uh, I must say the conditions are much different, it's pretty similar, but uh, the way they wear out seems to be entirely different. Uh, the Swedish ones, they go up and down and bump, -de -bump. You, you just kind of bounce around slowly as if you're in a sailing ship. Whereas the Finnish ones, uh, they're a lot more flat and uh, you just have a surface where where they basically just uh, give you a lot of road noise and a little pothole here and there. It's not really, like, the moment you cross over you notice that there's something different and if you, I've been around for like probably half an hour in Sweden now, it's just an entirely different experience. And uh, also, straight away in Sweden, more hills. Like, Finland is the flattest country, you know, well probably ranks among the flattest countries in the world because there's nothing there. You just don't see a hill ever, whereas here we're actually going up and down a bit. And for a moment, we were even up on a little hill so I could see almost to the horizon without all the forest in the way. It's, it's, it's nice. It's a different experience, certainly. I'm trying to pass this bus, but it's uphill. I literally do not have the power to pass this bus. Come on! Yes! We're passing the bus! Sheesh! Pussy! That's right, Pussy, get out of my way! You can't do more than 80! Go away! Pussy! Grandma's Pussy! Modern Pussy! Pussy on toe!
All right, I'm taking a bit of a break here in Luleå, Sweden, and <laughs> I just noticed we have a real survivor piece of tape up there. That's cars been riding with us from Orland over a thousand kilometers. There we go, just hit up Bill Timmer here in Luleå, and they had a very similar sticker pack with Swedish flags, so I've got a little collection started. Uh, left some space there for the Orland flag, which is of course going to come first, but I haven't bought any of those yet. And over there, we have apparently forgotten a jet. Can't see! We're currently rolling through uh, what I think is uh, Arvidsdjaur, uh, way out in nowhere, Sweden. I must say, this is a super cute little town. It looks like a kind of place where you only have old people. And what amazes me most of all is all the buildings just seem to be super old. These are like, well, what's it, probably 30s, 40s, 50s building rolling by. And that's pretty rare to see. If, to anyone who's not a Finnishman, you, you're gonna know that Finland got bombed pretty hard in World War II, so we don't have a lot of uh, old buildings left. So it's pretty cool to see a place where, which has just been untouched. I suppose Sweden got away pretty easily during that time. Here there's a pansy park over there. But, uh, hmm, cute. But now we're leaving. Goodbye, Arvid Wow. These are maintenance. It's confirmed, they've got mountains in Sweden. This is excellent, I love this visage. It's a bit of a shame that I think the Tomlips camera is kind of screwing up the exposures. It can't seem to handle the bright backlight. At least not judging from a computer monitor. So I'll have to see how that turns out, but wow. This is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Just about midnight in Finland, 11 in the evening. Yeah, and we've hit Norway. We did it. Nor Finland and Norway in one day. Through Hapranda. Whew. I'm done for. There we go. I didn't quite make my original little random spot. It's getting a bit dark and, well, wasteful to be driving in the pitch black. I mean, that's the eight side, and you have a DSLR, it's just catching uh, pure blackness, despite uh, exposing for seconds. And so, I'm going to camp here. I found a lovely little road which seems to lead down to this little lake here, a few kilometres from the border. And uh, I just uh, drove down, random direction, and found this little spot which... Uh, 
uh, it's eight of anyone's way, and uh, given the state of a road, that's unlikely to be any traffic coming through here at all. <sighs> so I'm gonna have a peaceful night, given that I don't get raped by a bear. And that's a day. So I must say, I absolutely underestimated the beauty of driving through north western Sweden. The uh, mountainous region was absolutely stunning. I hope the time lapse footage is gonna uh, show that. I haven't gone through it yet. But the feeling of driving through there, to make a more modern, cringy comparison, imagine that feeling when you play Skyrim for the first time and you're going through this vast northern maintenance range, just, just walking from nowhere to nowhere. Uh, now, that, that feeling times a thousand, and you've got the feeling I had today, it was absolutely stunningly beautiful. You could just watch the giant maintenance drift past and all of a sudden you were going up one and all of a sudden you were going down one. It was amazing. Uh, I even managed to get some internet access. I parked way out in nowhere, literally. I uh, drove like 20 kilometers into Norway and I found this little non-paved road, drove a couple kilometers down it and uh, here I am sitting parked now. 2G internet access, everything you could ever ask for. Uh, best care of being outside though, since uh, it's not entirely Im implausible for there to be some wildlife out to give you a helping hand. Ah, but uh, I am shot. I've covered, well, literally the entirety of the width of Sweden today, and I'm so happy I managed. It was harder than I f imagined. Uh, probably came up to like uh, just over 600 kilometers I haven't counted. Ah, that's for the future. Good night.